I didn't see you there. Welcome to Brazil is Nuts, episode one, with me, your host, Mr. Mustachio. Today, we're going to be learning about the good and the bad side of Brazil. Starting with the good side, here are a few of many famous people from Brazil. Pelé is one of the world's most well-known football players ever, making him one of Brazil's best sportsmen. He was born in 1943 and took up football at a young age, joining the local club. After a while, he turned professional. He won an award in 1999, Player of the Century, although he retired in 1977. Carmen Marinda, born in 1909, was very well known for her singing and dancing. In 1943, she made one of the best songs she'd ever made, The Gang's All Here. In 1955, she was performing a dance number when she suddenly collapsed. Ayrton Senna was like a god in Brazil, a racing car god. He was born in 1960, and at a young age, he loved everything about cars. In 1994, disaster struck. He was in the San Marino Grand Prix, when suddenly he turned around a corner too fast. He lost control, and over the bumper, he lost two of his wheels, his front wheels, smashed straight into the wall. And that was the end of him. The Brazilians had three days of mourning for him. Now, let's go to the poor side. The poor side of the Brazil is quite a bad place. It is also where most famous people come from. And... Also where most drugs come from. But let's not talk about that. Footballers like Pele come from very, very poor families and use their talent to show off to the public. Then when they show off to their public, they earn money. Good money. That's when they go to the good side. Imagine this. You're in a very poor family and you have a really good talent. You show it off to the locals. The locals love you. Somebody sees you and says, I could make you a professional. Five or six years later, you're a big professional in the big time. Now we have learned that there are two sides to Brazil. This video, unfortunately, will have to come to an end. I'll see you later.